it's your chance and you have to stand tall oh. Believe in yourself everywhere you go MTN, everywhere you go. Ghana is on the world map these days and is synonymous with potential and hope. It is an investor-friendly environment. Since 2001, the growth has been very steady around 4 or 5 percent. International companies are starting to set up their regional offices in Ghana and I, I think really that says it all. Investor confidence in the country has grown significantly with a growing interest in mining, banking and telecommunications. The system works. The telecommunications industry in Ghana is particularly competitive which also drives the growth. There are currently four players all aggressively pursuing market share and that will only intensify during 2008. MTN, Telecom's leader in Africa and the Middle East, is poised to be a part of this renaissance entering the Ghanaian market in 2006. If its reputation is anything to go by, Ghana is in for something new and exciting. Well, MTN Group's vision is to be the leading telecommunications operator uh, in the world with a focus on Africa and the Middle East. MTN is, I'm very proud to say, a truly African multinational telecommunications company. MTN as a company is an African company owned, run and managed by Africans. But our focus obviously as, as we come in, in Ghana is to deliver on telecommunication services that are unique to the African experience. Ghana currently is the, uh, the third biggest operation after Nigeria and South Africa. Created in 1994, MTN has grown into a telecoms giant with a wealth of experience and currently operates in 21 countries in Africa and the Middle East with over 54 million subscribers and covering a population of over half a billion people. But how was this phenomenal success achieved? I believe it's a diversity. Um, you know, MTN is very much a multicultural organization that that believes diversity is a strength. MTN is also known for its use of state-of-the-art technology. We use world-class operators, telecommunications technology, and we have an outstanding human resource team to help us deliver these services into the market. That, combined with our local knowledge and our group power, enables us to deliver the most advanced technologies to the Ghanaian market at reasonable prices. This is a world-class operation. We know what we're doing. And I think that is the exciting component of what we bring to bear on the Ghanaian experience. The company's five corporate values of leadership, innovation, integrity, strong relationships and the can-do spirit drive the group's commitment to better service, developing local talent and acting as a catalyst for economic development. Our focus is on how we marry the technological strengths that we have as a telecom service provider with our understanding of what it means to operate in the African context and in the Ghanaian context. We want to be technologically savvy but socially sensitive. That is the MTN approach and that's what we plan to deliver in Ghana. It's about differentiation through value. Intensive research allows MTN to gain robust consumer insight and develop the competitive tariff plans attractive call packing plans it is known for. By segmenting the market, MTN is able to provide a product for everyone. It's we segmented the market, identified the needs and motivations of each of the segments that we had and make sure that we had the relevant product and services that were attractive to each of these, each of these segments. So our approach is really to tailor make um, the products and services suitable to, to e each of the segments that we identify. MTN is here to stay. It is expanding its capacity to handle the increasing subscriber base. Our subscriber base has increased significantly and thereby loading our network a lot more. We have been uh, investing uh, significantly and we will continue to do so until we achieve our objectives. In March 2007 we had about 500 base stations in this network. Currently we have over a thousand and we will continue to expand this in 2008 to close to 2,000 base stations. Uh, in the current year, 2007, we've invested over $200 million uh, on our network infrastructure, and um, in 2008, we'll be investing uh, 
close to $300 million. By improving network quality, telecommunication services are bound to get better. By the third quarter in 2008, we will be where we want to be. We're also conducting market research that allows us to understand how the population is changing so that we can adequately plan for additional capacity requirements. Well, people's lifestyle, people's needs keep on changing and we need to make sure that we are either with them or most importantly ahead of them. Going forward, MTN will continue to lead and innovate by creating new products and services in a world where various industries are converging. Our customers can expect uh, exciting new and innovative products and services. But our focus continues and will always remain on how we bring that technological expertise and a socially sensitive understanding of our environment to the Ghanaian subscribers. Ghanaians can look forward to a new dawn, world-class telecom services at competitive prices. MTN's presence is likely to drive national development through training, improved infrastructure and services, and focused corporate responsibility. It's about an ongoing commitment to changing and improving customers' lives. It's about giving back to the community. It's about MTN everywhere you go. It's really just beginning. You can look forward to excellent top-class services, good quality, exactly what the subscriber wanted and needed in his personal life or professional life. That is a commitment that NTN has and that is what will happen. Thank you to the good people of Ghana for embracing MTN. Congratulations to you for hosting a truly spectacular tournament. Everywhere you go, it's your chance and you MTN, everywhere you go. Everywhere you go.